Like many other large organizations or churches, One Mission Society is made up of a wide group of believers in Christ. God has blessed One Mission Society with a group of believers who are united in their calling to serve the Lord with the one life that they've been given here on earth. The Apostle Paul writes in the book of Romans, because of the privilege and authority God has given me, I give each of you this warning. Don't think you're better than you really are. Be honest in your evaluation of yourselves, measuring yourselves by the faith God has given us. Just as our bodies have many parts, and each part has a special function, so it is with Christ's body. We're many parts of one body, and we all belong to each other. Within One Mission Society, we too can be viewed as one body with many parts and many gifts. Now at times it might appear to the casual observer that we're working on entirely different tasks, but actually all of our work remains united in a common purpose. To see the gospel of Jesus Christ spread throughout the world with the greatest possible number of disciples made and to see God glorified in all that we say and do to fulfill the Great Commission. That is our one mission. One Mission Society has adopted the following mission statement to guide our ministries. By God's grace, One Mission Society unites, inspires, and equips Christians to make disciples of Jesus Christ, multiplying dynamic communities of believers around the world. Let's look at that mission statement piece by piece. By God's grace. First, we acknowledge that all that we do from beginning to end is a direct result of God's grace. All we do is for God's glory. One mission society unites. We're united in our ministries with our partners and with our fellow believers. One mission society inspires and equips Christians. We inspire and equip Christians with passionate teaching, biblical training and support. To make disciples of Jesus Christ. This is the heart of the Great Commission found in Matthew 28. This is our ultimate goal. Multiply. Simple addition isn't enough. We must see exponential growth if we're to impact the world. Dynamic communities of believers. These communities are the product of evangelism and church planning full of life and growth around the world. We're committed to seeing the gospel of Jesus spread everywhere and to every person.